video um, uh, I know like a, a lot of worldly jakes um, that, that think that we're not in slavery um, so I'm going to do a quick video on um, that we are in slavery and a few things we can do while we're in slavery so to pretty much just maintain Ultimately, wait on our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, by seeing Yahweh shine. I can really answer this with one scripture and then be done with it, but I'm going to go a little bit further to more precepts. Um, when we get to the book of Baruch. Baruch chapter 3 verse 8 it's like we go Baruch chapter 3 verse 4 O oh Lord Almighty thy power of Israel. Hear now the prayers of the dead Israelites and their children which have sinned before thee which have sinned before thee and not hearken unto the voice of the to the voice of their power for which have for the which cause these plagues cleave unto us. Right, so that's how we in this predicament in the first place because we didn't hearken unto the voice of the Lord our power, Yahweh. So he put us under these heathens. Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, verse 5. Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. For thou art the Lord our power and thee and thee O Yahweh by Shimi Shai will be praised and for this cause thou hast put thy fear in our hearts to to the intent that we should call upon thy name right so we pretty much in this predicament now so cause he's it's really like a test so we can call upon his name. He's putting us low as the tail and the heathens the head so he can show us ultimate power at the end of the day. Uh, continuing verse seven. And praise thee in our captivity. Right. Praise thee in our captivity. We go on. Like I just said, um, he's put he's put the fear in our hearts and to to the intent that we should call upon thy name praise thee in our captivity so he has us in this predicament so we can praise him in our captivity um, for we have called to mind all the iniquities of our forefathers that sinned before thee verse 8 behold we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us right because we're scattered across the four corners of the earth north, south, east, west for a reproach and a curse right, this is a curse to be and to be subject to payments that's why we gotta pay our insurance we gotta pay car bills we need car notes we gotta pay for lights we gotta pay for water we gotta pay for food um, we gotta pay for anything that we need in this captivity but this world was ultimately given onto us for us but us being in slavery we got we got the we were being subject to payments and uh, I can get out of the scriptures that this world was made for us uh, continuing verse 8 according to 
saying subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, our power. Verse 9. Hear, Israel, the commandments of life. Give ear to understand wisdom. Right, so we can't be stubborn. We gotta give our ear to understand his wisdom. How happened is how happened it, Israel, thou art in thy enemy's land. Right. So Yahweh by Hashem Shah, he brought us to our enemy's land. Thou art wax waxing old in a strange country. Right. This country is strange to us. All these these um the ways of the heathen all the ways that they got us under we are strange in their country that thou art defiled with the dead right because spiritually a lot of all these heathens are dead so we're defiled with them we're um, we're unclean with them except the elect the, set, the elect we're waking up in these last days and we're coming undefiled or we're trying our best to keep these laws and commandments which make us undefiled. That's a really good job for them. Isaiah chapter one, verse seven. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers, strangers devour it in your presence. Right, it says your land. This is our. This is our land. This was um, Isaiah having a vision to having a vision concerning Judah and and Jerusalem, Israel. country is desolate your cities are burned with fire your land strangers devour it in your presence and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers right because these heathens are over us the earth was given to the hands of the wicked as it says in Job 9 24 Second Edges chapter six verse uh, I'm start at fifty eight. But why thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thou thy only begotten and thy forever love lover are given to their hands? If the world now be made for our sakes, why doeth we not possess an inheritance? with the world how long shall it endure right so it says if the world was made for our sakes why don't we inherit it and as it says in Brook, we didn't we're not inheriting the, our land because we've um we've broken the laws and commandments and, and we're rebellious and we turned our back from our power yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 4 
verse 14. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 14. Is, there, is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Why is he spoiled? Right, because this is our 14th captivity. Uh, so we're, we're, we're like a home-born slave. We've only ruled for, for, for um, a very little time during the Dark Ages. So we're home-born slaves. We're spoiled. Look at the word spoiled in a blue letter. Well, in the Hebrew is Bahas, Bas. Strong's H, nine fifty seven. Baz, 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 Baz. Spoiled, booty, robbery, spoiling. So we've been robbed. We've been robbed of all the, all our land. Uh, we get limitations. Lamentations chapter 5 verse 4 We have drunken our water for money Because this is our, our land Originally So it says we have drunken our water for money Our wood is sold unto us <laughs> Our necks are under persecution We labor and we have no rest Right in this captivity we, we, some, some of us go to work 7 days a week five, six days a week, and we get two days rest, if that, and we wake up tired on, on, um, on so-called Monday, and get right back at it again throughout the whole week, so we get no rest in this captivity. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 55, but in this captivity, this is what we're going to do. I called upon thy name, O Yahweh, by Shimei Awashai, out of the low dungeon. We, let me get that word, little dungeon. This is really hell right now that we in. Get the word for little dungeon. Pit, a well. Alright, because this, we 
we can this can be described as a dungeon because we're in hell we're in a low 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 estate and we're gonna call upon his name Isaiah chapter 52 verse 1 Awake, awake Put on thy strength, O Zion Put on thy beautiful garments O Jerusalem, the holy city For henceforth there shall No more come into thee The uncircumcised and the unclean Right, awake, awake In this captivity That's what we gotta do um, And put on these beautiful garments These garments that's symbolic for These laws, statutes, and commandments Because they're beautiful They're um the law is righteous. The law contains wisdom. Wisdom is beautiful to the Lord. Yahweh. Uh, let me get a, get a one more precept. Psalms 119 verse 142 Thy law, I mean, thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth. Right. If you keep these laws, statutes, commandments, you are in the truth. You know the truth. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14 Therefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Hamashiach shall give thee light. Right, so when we awake up out of the sleep Hamashiach which is Yahweh which is so called Jesus Christ, he gives us the light and the law is the light. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 Ye are the light of the world A city that is set on a hill Cannot be hid Right, we're the light of this world And we, we shouldn't hide If we if you are welcome to this truth You shouldn't hide the truth Neither do men Light a candle and put it under a bushel But On a candlestick and give it Light unto all that are in the house let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Right, so we're supposed to, um, supposed to show forth our light. Uh, I'm going to get one more piece of supposed to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments in this captivity and 
puts a weight on the Lord, have patience, like Job. Psalms chapter 37, verse 4. Delight thyself also in Yahweh, and he shall call us alive. Puts a weight on the Lord. I wanted to get that scripture, but I can't find it right now. Psalms chapter 27, verse 14. Wait on Yahweh, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I said, on Yahweh. So we got to wait in this captivity. I want to get one more and I'm close out. Said we're supposed to show our light in this world. We're supposed to show our light in this world that people may know and glorify our Father. And um, Matthew 25, verse 1 Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which, which took lamps, which, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom, which is your hour shot. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil. These these law, statutes, and commandments. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. All right. So they, the wise they they was woken to this truth and they kept the law, statutes, and commandments, which is wisdom, so they can oil their lamps. This is a parable. Activity. Um, awake. Ultimately, is, is up to Yahweh to awaken you in this captivity. But if you seek knowledge, if you know this world is not right, then He will deliver you out of this captivity. We shall. We gotta endure. Um, give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Makar Kadash. Peace and blessings to the elect. Um, give double honors to the elders and apostles that rule well. 
teaching this truth in truth and sincerity. Shalom.